Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be uh, a new channel of sort of book cover reviews of Ian Fleming and other James Bond uh, sort of paraphernalia. So mainly books and literature like comics and magazines. I'll try and stick with those uh, and maybe some occasional figures and sort of uh, bits and pieces from over the years I've collected. Uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy the channel and uh, obviously like, subscribe and comment down below. Okay, so let's get to it. So here's my stack of Ian Fleming pan books and uh, let's just get them out. Let's see what they look like. So you can see that they have got two cover types. Um, in fact, let's just pick one up now. So this is a nice cover here. So you've obviously got James Bond here and you've probably got uh vespa lind here maybe enter james bond secret agent obviously the first book um i'll try and focus on the covers you can see the artist here is it pef p-e-double-f i think uh here's the price two shillings and sixpence there's a yellow pan logo up here it's a great pan book um casino royale sort of red brown spine pan two stars g198 now if i just compare it to this second copy here you can see it's pretty much the same this one's got a bit of a better better color it's in a couple of my books are in this plastic wrapping um i don't really want to take them out um but uh, you'll notice that it's pretty much the same except oops, sorry just knocked the camera a bit uh, you'll see that this one actually doesn't have a price in fact, it had a sticker price on it. Uh, so that's quite interesting. No difference on the back, as far as I can tell. Um, oh, that page has gone a bit loose. Uh, by the same author, so Moonraker and From Russia With Love. That's fine. Um, you can see this edition. But uh, just going back to the price sticker, so you can see on... Uh, another copy of Casino Royale you can see that there is actually a sticker price applied so um, I think it's probably a good time just to move on to these other covers here uh, so this one so this cover actually I think so this one you can see that there is obviously a different cover to this um, you got perhaps a lady here it's not quite the same lady here so it might not be Vespa uh, this is that scene that is described in the book where Bond is being tortured in the chair. Um, so what immediately strikes you out, just a few points, is the price. So this is three shillings and sixpence, and this is two and six, two and six. Uh, the foot banner uh, says, enter James Bond secret agent. So same wording as the first covers we looked at however this ver this variant has the same wording but it's got a picture it's almost like a photograph of not quite sure who so I, I don't recognize who the character is it may be a sort of model for James Bond or if, if anyone knows do put it in the comments but you can see that uh, it's obviously quite a different front cover uh, and different pricing but uh, Okay, yes, you can see, so G198, which is the same as these two. However, this book, which is the more expensive price, is X232. Uh, and the other variation is that in the top right-hand corner of the pan logo is not the yellow background with the boy playing the flute. Uh, instead, it's got pan books written plus the code X232 and it omits the grand, uh, the great pan sign. Let's take a look at the backs. Uh, backs are pretty much the same, I believe. Yeah, more or less. There's no sort of additional pricing, uh, except this one, which is the more expensive version, three and six, um, has actually the same wording, does it? Yeah, that same header back here and the best English writer, Sunday Times, Raymond Chandler, 
yeah, there you go. And the picture, of course, of the author Ian Fleming. So um, just give some thoughts on this. So it's a nice selection. Um, they're all different, which is nice to nice to have in a collection. Pretty iconic covers. I think this this one's probably the favourite of the two types. Um, yeah, well, let's uh, maybe let's crack on with some of the other books. Okay, so let's go to the next uh, set of Ian Fleming books, uh, Live and Let Die and Moonraker. Uh, another continuation of the Great Pan covers. Uh, let's fan them out. So I've only got three cover variants here of the Live and Let Die book. Um, generally, it's kind of the same principle as the in as the Casino Royale book. So notably you can see the price difference. So oh, that's a bit it got a bit of a shine on it. So two and six, three and six. Um pricing and also in the top right corner you can see that there's a slightly different pan book uh logo. Uh different price coding here X233. Uh I wonder if that's the same as Casino Royale. No, so it's one before, so X232. So it's not to do with just the price, it's obviously a unique numbering system. Uh, and also this variant, which is quite a nice uh, comparison, is um, okay, so they're both on the. They both include uh, sort of damsels in distresses clinging onto Bond while the boat is exploding in the background. And you can see here there's a shark as well just lurking. So this one has the artist as Rex A. And this one's also got a different code. So this is a GP83. There you go, that's the same book, but three different codes. Oh no, that's got the same code, GP83 as well. Getting confusing, isn't it? Um, but at least I've got all the books in one place so I can make the comparison. A uh, bit more commentary on the back. This is, of course, yes, this is Mr. Big and Solitaire. Yeah, quite a good film as well. Roger Moore's first film, of course. So, uh... Right, so we've had a look at those. Let's take a look at the Moonraker covers. Uh, so similar to earlier uh, this one doesn't have a price tag uh, when compared to the same one G216 G216 for both of them and uh, this is obviously a completely different cover G mm, the spines folded on itself a bit there uh, this one's by PEF so we've we recognize that artist before so that's that's the same artist there. Whereas on this one, do we see do we see who the artist is? They've perhaps cropped it out. Uh, but this is Pef, and you know you've got the rocket in the background. Uh, this one's got a bit of candle wax on it, but uh, M wants you. Yeah, very ominous. Excellent. So let's keep going with uh, books four and five in the series. So next is uh, Diamonds Are Forever and then From Russia With Love. So put From Russia With Love aside for a moment. And uh, here you can see, again, more cover variants. Um, it'll be interesting to know when these were released and in, in what order. But uh, as you can see here, um, two very different covers. wonder why I have two copies of this. G101, G101, both the same price, both the same banner, no variation on the top corner. Hmm, okay. There's a banner, always good to have a copy. Um, and this one again for the same price, very, very different colouring. To the background, this is obviously red background with the 
face of a lady wearing some diamonds here and someone lying on the floor. I think the back says the same. Yeah, anyway, ni nice to add to the collection. And then let's take a look at From Russia With Love. Oh, again, just a uh, duplicate copies of the same. No, no difference. G229, target for, target for destruction. Good. Very cool cover, actually, I think. It's got the train and uh, Bond and Nat Natalia. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> I've just forgotten her name. Um, whether it's the same in the book and the film as well, I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, Speeding Train. This was this was set in Turkey, wasn't it, in the film? Anyway, this is a very good book. Um, I think one of the American presidents voted it as their favourite book as well. And now let's take a look at Dr. No and Goldfinger. Uh, again, some more duplicate copies. Uh, this one's not in a plastic bag. So I don't actually have a variation copy of this and I'm not aware whether there is one, but here, here's the artist again, Pef. So we're seeing that name come up again. Um, obviously another woman in distress clinging onto James Bond. Um, and Dr. No in the background, perhaps. So there's a wading through some reeds or a swamp, uh, probably not the Caribbean, uh, G335. So they're obviously not in sequence with each other as Ian Fleming books. They're probably part of a wider sequence. Oh, this one's got a signature, a name in it. Also available, Moonraker and Goldfinger. So let's, uh, let's go on with Goldfinger. Now this, yes, okay, so I do have some variation covers to Goldfinger. So I think you can probably tell what to look out for. So it's the top right cover, uh, corner. Uh, this one's a purple cover. Let's see, I thought the others were... Here we go, yes, here's Casino Royale and it's orange, so I wonder what the colours might mean. Obviously different bands at the bottom. This one's got a purple background. Um, the pricing, two and six, two and six, three and six, and no pricing. There's a slight variation in the, the yellow or gold colour of the front cover. Uh, this one's a slightly more greeny yellow, whereas this one's a bit more of a browner yellow, a bit darker, as you can probably tell. Um, this this expensive price here obviously omits the great pan uh, wording in the top left. Let's flip, flip these back. You can, you can tell there's a bit of difference here in the branding. But otherwise, I think the commentary in the back is pretty much the same. And finally, in this series of covers, is For Your Eyes Only. And these two are also variant covers, uh, only at the where, with the price. So two and six, three and six, yellow pan logo, great pan. No mention of the great pan wording and a blue uh, pan books logo with G551 for the cheaper book and X239 for the more expensive one. Yeah, I've, I've always quite enjoyed this one as well, actually. For your eyes only. Yeah, they're, they're short stories, aren't they? Um, anyhow, so uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts on the great pan pan paperback variants of the Ian Fleming books. Um, I think they're very cool covers and they actually make a nice collection, quite a large collection because you're going to be getting sort of um, 
although they're individual covers, you're going to be getting quite a few copies of the same book. But uh, I suppose if you like looking at the covers and collecting them, then yeah, this is a good one to have. Great. Um, I've got some covers of other series, so I'll try and go through them as well. And I also have some, uh, I don't mean rare, but just sort of hard to find or unusual um, sort of James Bond books as well, which um, you know, I'll show off those uh, in a future video. Thanks very much.